Hey guys, we are back with Tech Guns, and um, oh, I've noticed a couple of changes when I added these mods. You ready for this? Um, okay, I can't get anything else out of there, so... Bam! I get, um, the loot bags adapt to whatever mods you have in here, so it, it just, uh... Gave me some of these things. Harvest and replant large areas. Might have to try that out. Not now. Some other time. But, um... Yeah. So I'm getting things from other mod packs. Other mod packs. Um, out of loot bags now. And that's pretty... That's kind of sick. I mean, it's something... Something fresh and new. Uh, we're gonna leave this the way it is because we're not gonna concern ourselves with that right now. Right now, we are going to. We're gonna make ourselves the pets we want, and then we're gonna see what we can start here. I have a couple of ideas. Uh, as you can see, I I cranked out some carbon fiber, and I'm looking up the mod. So we're we're definitely gonna do some tech gun stuff, advance and get new armor because this armor's crap. Even if I, I'm not even going to modify it because it's crap. It looks cool, but it's crap. I don't know what happened. I don't know why. But if the stats were correct initially, this should have been significantly better. It should have at least been up with diamond. But, hey, whatever. We're about to make better tech gun armor anyway. This is a tech guns mod after all. So. Inventory pets. Uh, we're gonna craft a couple of these, um, the ones I particularly like, I don't think we're gonna, I have not experienced all of them. Uh, most of my experience in inventory pets was in Scramblecraft, and I got quite a few, but, um, the best ones like the loot pet, um, it gives you double whatever the loot is, uh, The chicken pet was pretty great. Uh, and there was one other one that I really liked. The heart pet. Uh, it's just cheap to re revive it. It's just way better that way. Well, let's see what we do have. Um, purplicious cow head. That is not... That's, that's a piece of armor. <laughs> okay, sheep pet. Slow fall gives you wool. Yeah, whatever. Don't care. Uh, snowballs... Reduce knockback, don't care. Gold ingots, that's a little rich for my blood. Uh, fast flight, float up and down, lightning strike. Food's nether quartz. That's not... That's not too out of the question, and lightning strike and it's legendary. That sounds kind of exciting, what does it take to make it? Um... Um, well, I can't make it? That's, that's weird. Wonder why I can't make it. Hmm. No, yeah, whatever. Flying saddle pet, you can ride and fly any mob. Uh, it's, that's cool, but as far as I'm concerned, strictly cosmetic. Emerald nuggets, I don't think I want to do anything with emeralds. I mean, I don't want to just, I don't want to waste it, you know? That one seems kind of cool. We're just going to stick. Instead of going through all these. Uh, we're going to do the chicken pet. And we're going to do the heart pet. If it's capable. Um, and I think that's pretty much it for now. They're the two better ones. Yeah, I think that'll... Juggernaut pet. Obsidian Nuggets wouldn't be bad, huh? Your vulnerability for one minute weakens... I might do that one, too. Uh, so, those three and maybe a feed bag if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna rock all three. So let's get our heart pet. I need a diamond, a poppy, an emerald, and a bunch of redstone. So let's go find us a poppy, because I'm pretty sure I don't keep those on hand. Mm -hmm. 
Should've just went onto the roof of my house, look for something red. Well, probably would've saved a little bit of time. Now these are the food for, uh, the heart pet as well, so getting a couple extra isn't gonna be a bad idea. Uh, that looks like uh, there's some over here. We'll grab these and then we'll go back. Um, to be completely honest, um, I have had the heart pet and I have not had to feed it yet. Because it's, uh, I don't use it that often. So I got an extra ender pouch. This is the ender pouch. This is the ender sack. They're both basically uh, ender chests that you can take with you, but they're on different. What? What? What just happened? I just like double jumped. Okay, whatever. So yeah, so now I got two ender chests. Which if I get a traveler's backpack, these two will pretty much be obsolete. But I'm not overly trying, I guess, to get an Ender backpack. Or a Traveler's backpack. Oh, no. It's alright, the lag on this one usually doesn't last long. This isn't like the other ones. And so, we're looking at probably the feed bag, maybe the Juggernaut pet. That'd be kind of nice to have invulnerability if I get to a tight spot. But as I said, I don't even really use the heart pet. I don't usually get into that sticky of a situation. So, I don't know if I'd ever actually need two. If I need regeneration and invulnerability. Like, it seems to be a bit overkill. Uh, we're definitely going to do the heart pet and the chicken pet, though. Let's see. Another diamond gold. Feathers. We'll just take half a stack. And we have the flowers. We need gold and redstone. And seed. I need seed. Um, I think it's only one. I need six redstone. Of course, they're two different formats. Six redstone. And I need to find some seed, which I'm not entirely sure if I have any. I I should, I mean, I don't think I've been feeding any chickens. I have a bunch of weed. I have a seed. Where did that come from? The better question is, what happened to all the seeds? Because I know... Okay, I don't want to say I guarantee I had, like, stacks upon stacks, but I've been farming for a while. Unless I threw them away. And that's, that's a little concerning. The chicken pet actually feeds on seed. And I don't know if it's, like, normal chickens and it's interchangeable with, uh... With, like, beetroot seeds and stuff. I should have a machine that I can grind this wheat and turn it back into seeds, maybe. Maybe that's why. I didn't actually grow a lot of wheat. Yeah, well... I mean, I really haven't needed any. I, I get, like, a crap ton of bread off of the zombies and stuff. What are you guys looking at? You hungry? Alright. 
So now that's taken care of. Let's see if we can figure out a... I do have a good bit of weeds. So let's see if we can figure out a way to make seeds. Um, chicken pet? Seeds. Uh, reaction chamber? Mm, the sag meal. That's kind of what I... That's kind of what I was gunning for. So let's, uh... Let's take this stack of 22 and make us some, I guess, probably flour and uh, some seeds. Where you at, saggy? There we go. I do have this on, right? I do now. wonder why I turned it off. Oh, I got tired of cleaning out the monster drop chests. I know it's not mandatory, but it's, yeah, wait, wait, what's going on? There we go. Oh, as you can see, yeah, I went and uh, pushed all this back, cleared out a wall, and cleared out a wall over here. Um, I got a new anvil. This anvil's pretty sick. Um, it removes any enchantments, so I put my diamond armor that I don't want in here. It pops out that enchantments. I stick it in here, and bam! Diamonds forever. Forever. But anyways, um, we want to get this done. We better get it done. Let's do a uh, chicken pet. And it gives you a speed boost, which is awesome. And then a heart pet. Which gives you regeneration. Which is also awesome. But now this guy, you have to right click him to make him work. The chicken just doesn't be in your inventory. So now I should be super fast. Why is this not? Why isn't it working? Does it have to be in my hotbar? Yeah, it has to be in my hotbar too. Alright, no big deal. Um, I can keep this backpack over here. Stick this guy here. Like that. Alright. Still gives me an open space. We're good. And now, as far as food goes, one eats um, poppies, and one eats seed. Let's see about the juggernaut, just for fun. Uh, it takes. Oh no! Another star. I, I do I have one of those? I know I didn't fight the wither, but I know you can. I know there's other ways to obtain them in this. In this mod pack. No. We still didn't open this from the dragon. Alright guys, we beat the dragon and we haven't opened this since then. Let's see what it is. Shader taken. Well, that doesn't tell me anything. It went from a purple thing I didn't know to a, to a gray and black thing that I don't know. What I do know is it says it's epic. And epic is usually pretty high tiered. So we're gonna... Ooh. Chemical thrower, railgun, minecart, balloon, mining, drilling, revolver. Oh, it's immersive engineering. That's something that I'm avoiding getting into. Alright, so now that we have that out of the way, let's see about, um... Let's do... Let's make a fabricator. So we need the fabricator housing, which is... Carbon mechanical parts, cybernetic parts, elite circuit boards, steel plates, a whole lot of stuff we ain't got. So let, let's see let's see if we can get this done this episode. I need carbon plates and blaze rod. Carbon plates take two carbon fiber, so let's uh got a couple of those. Uh we'll do half And then I blaze rods. Oh, I only got blaze powder because I have it here. Nope, alright. So we gotta go get blaze rods. Oh no. I seriously don't have any blaze rods? No. Hmm. 
Well, that is going to put a damper on this. Because if I don't have blaze rods, I can't get it. I can't do any of this. Hmm. Is it, it has to be blaze rods? It can't be blaze powder? What? How disappointing. Alright. So let's get all the parts ready that we can make. Steel plates need two steel ingots in the metal press. So let's make about 20 of those. That way we'll have them for the next, uh... Let's make... We don't have a lot of steel, so let's do eight. Ugh. The bad part about the chicken pet is you, you don't like to go through doors. Like, I don't know, like, you keep bouncing from side to side. So, we'll do a couple steel plates. It should give us eight of them. I think it's one for one ratio. Cybernetic parts I have over in the chest. Gold wire we can make. Two gold ingots. So let's go get gold wire and cybernetic parts. We'll just do eight of these as well. And the cybernetic parts are here. We already have some copper wire. We'll take that with us. Uh, we'll take the glider backpack with us because I think if I finish making the glider... I can hook it up to the armor I'm making, and I can fly. I think. Iron plates, we'll take those with us. Um, I think that about does it. I ripped apart a second ender bag and got an ender chest. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. It might be good for a crafting recipe. It might be complete crap. I don't know. So we'll take uh, some redstone, some of uh, the... Some of this. More blaze powder and no blaze rods. Looks like I'm going to have to go kill blazes again. But hey, at least we got... I think we got everything we need here. To get all the other items ready. Um, yeah, it looks pretty, pretty good. So we got eight steel plates. Let's make some steel wire. Or gold wire. No, that wasn't working. I was like, where's that loud annoying noise? We got copper wire already. We got, I'm pretty sure I have mechanical parts. Iron mechanical parts. Yeah, I have five of them. So we'll keep that. Throw this in there, that in there. This can go in there. Several neck parts can go in there. Actually, all this can go in there because I'm pretty sure it's done being processed. Some wire. Alright, we even got some plastic sheets when we took this place over. So that's that's a good thing. Um, let's see. So the carbon fiber, I need carbon plates, which I already have that. Um, steel plates, cybernetic parts, circuit board, which needs a crap circuit board. Uh, green dye. And iron plates. I should have everything else. I might run low on copper wire. Yeah, I might run a little low on copper wire. Let's get uh, green dye and copper copper ingots. Yeah, I guess we'll take these two. Should I do more than two? Do two more. And what was the other thing we needed? Green dye, which I have eight of. See, this ain't like a. I kind of missed Sky Factory already. I don't know when I'm gonna get that fixed. Now I wonder if it'll do it like this. It does. <laughs> That's cool. Can't stack them together, but it works that way. And I miss having my remote and stuff. That was kind of cool. That's not what I need. Okay, and that'll pretty much take care of everything we need off the, off the, out of the gate. To get to this point. 
Uh, we might have to make more stuff to make the super circuit boards at some point. Because we need about four of them, I think. Yeah, I think four of them. Fused quartz. Okay, so I need to check out fused quartz yet. What? Why did you make copper plates? How do I make copper wire? Oh man, what did I do? Okay, that's that's all right. Back in, and it makes copper wire. All right, I'm just like what the. So, I'm going for, right out the gate, I'm going for this armor here. The power armor. I think it's pretty much the best. And I think it has flight capabilities. We'll see. Now, what was I looking for while I was on here? I don't know. If we can't make that, we're probably going to make the exosuit, which is still pretty good, but yeah. I wonder if we can make the uh, advanced combat rifle, or the pulse rifle. Mm, we're missing the fabricator, and the fabricator is what I need to make this. I'm pretty sure. I don't think I can skip any parts here. 16 wire? Yeah, I think we'll be good on wire. Um, titanium plate. Easy enough. Um, what part of this needs to be... I might just need a carbon fiber. Yeah, carbon barrel. Obsidian steel and carbon plates. You want to make a pulse rifle for the end of the end of the episode? I think that's a good idea. So uh, let's uh, harden mechanical parts. That's uh, the metal press with obsidian steel plate and nether quartz. Obsidian steel ingots. Let's uh, let's see what we got in obsidian steel. Seventeen. What does it take to make it? Okay, steel ingot and obsidian. And to make steel ingots, it doesn't tell me how to make steel ingots. Wow. All right. No, I have still ingots, so must have been doing something right. All right, we'll make it. It isn't too difficult. Let's uh, let's see what else we need. And I think that's it. Oh, so every time my chicken pet eats, I think it's been dropping eggs on the... Yeah, it gives me eggs. So, that's something. Okay, so let's see if we can make the complete pulse rifle. I need a diamond. Why does this keep happening? And titanium. I knew I was getting stuff. Diamond and titanium. Which might be a problem. Yeah, it's kind of a problem. That's the one thing I haven't figured out how to smelt yet. And it doesn't tell you anything. Believe it. Man. Say titanium into titanium plates. Alright, great. Now how do I get titanium? Oh, I get titanium ore. Oh, well, I have that. So, you know, what do I do now? Pure titanium metal. Pure metal titanium ore. Smart output. I don't even know what that means. 
arc furnace. Too complicated. The recycling thing I was look I was gonna look into. Alloy smelter. How do I get this stuff then? Reaction chamber. Creeper acid. The reaction chamber, isn't that something that's a little further down the line? I'm pretty sure it is. Where do I get creeper acid? Biomass and gunpowder in a chemical laboratory with water. Where do I get biomass? Alright, slime and green dye. Easy enough. Um, alright, so we can we can work on that sometime. What? So we're not making a pulse rifle, we're not making armor. Uh, we got most of the parts set up for the next uh, deal. Let's see about the... I want to see about that farm thing. Fire starter, block miner, uncrafter, automated user, right click activation, using any item. Eh, that doesn't sound like what I'm looking for. Block placer, structure builder, item collector. I don't see it. Heat fire generator. I don't... I was pretty sure it was in this, uh, mod pack. What does that say? Aerial Faith Blade. That sounds interesting. Maybe it wasn't in Cyclic. I know I'd only added so many... I only added like three mods. I wanted to, I know there's there was a harvester or something. A plant harvester or a plant Oh, it's right there, okay. Automated gentle harvesting. Alright, so let's see about making this. It's uh, three, two emeralds, a diamond, two quartz, a dispenser, and obsidian, which we should have all of that easily. Quartz. Cobblestone. Emeralds. Diamonds. Uh -huh. Obsidian. Redstone. And I think that might do it. I think that's it. So we gotta make this. Oh, I need a bow. Do I have a spare bow? It's not a normal one. Alright, so I need to find string. And I know I got sticks somewhere. Well, you know what? I know one place I got sticks. Alright, so let's uh let's make this thing and see if it works. Uh, we're going to make a dispenser. I gotta make a bow. Then we got to make the dispenser. And we should... What is this one? Controlled miner. Lock breaker with size control, a blacklist, and pull slots. That's interesting. And bam. We have a harvester. Now, I think... I'm gonna need power for this. So let's, uh... Let's just run a cable and see if it works, and then if it doesn't work, we'll go wireless. Or if it does work, we'll go wireless. 
I have 11 cables left. It should get us close enough. Uh, and this will pretty much sum up what we're trying to do here for today. Until, uh... Until I get whatever it was that was the problem fixed uh, on that thing. I don't really remember what I was... <laughs> I don't really remember what I was trying to do. This should be good enough. Alright, now let's, uh... Plow it right there. Let's see what it says. Harvesting a 15 by 15... What can I check? One by one? No. Area 13. Uh, 15, alright. Area will attempt to harvest the whole area at once at the cost of fuel. Alright, no big deal. So it's got to be setting on the ground and the... Okay, so it works. I'm going to assume it works. But it's got to be sitting on the ground and inside the square. So I might have to make two of these. I don't know if I can get both of these fields in there. The bigger question is what happens to the stuff once it's uh once it's harvested. Whoops. Come on. Place it right, man. Okay. So this should... This should work. Unless I gotta put it in the ground one. Oh, uh, there it goes. Why is it only harvesting certain things? Um, why is there a... Oh, it kind of blocks out the water. I was like, why is there a hole there? Yeah, I can't say that I entirely understand. But, it is harvesting, so I guess it's working. I have to set this up wirelessly somewhere in the center. Like, I'm guessing, like, probably, like, right in this area. Because then it'll do all that. I wonder if there's an upgrade that can give it a bigger area. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just going to turn that off for now. Figure, uh, figure out some sort of method here. I guess I could put one in the center of this field. And one in the center of this field. But see, with this being all weird shaped, I might not get... I guess I can aim for the lower half, because I don't think it's going to be sugarcane. I can make four of them. Put one in each field. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so it's whatever. We'll figure something out. It's not that it's super important, because like I said, I'm pretty much done with Pam's Harvest Craft. There isn't much. There isn't a whole lot of things I can really go in and do there. There's not a lot left. I mean, I can make like some crazy super food or something, but... I mean, I, do, I don't really need it, you know. Mm 
think I might make my next mob spawner with this one. Diamond spikes. Huh. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, let's see what good stuff we got here. I'm kind of curious about this thing. But I think I'm going to take this cake. Unlock extended inventory. I don't understand that. Oh, I see. I see. Now I have like a a third backpack. Does it work twice? I don't think so. Then I can switch these out and swap my hop bar. That's kind of cool. Especially considering all the different attack I'm going to get. See, I've seen that in the other game I was playing, and I was wondering how it worked. Alright, well, that's it. I'm done. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. You can go get me some breakfast. And catch you next time.